The emerald ash borer isn't the only pest to go after ash trees. Tiny insects called aphids like to zap the sap out of the tree's leaves. Renee Bonneau goes in the garden with tips on how to spot them and how to deal with them. So when a homeowner sees something like this, they go, oh my gosh, my, is my tree dying or what's wrong with it? One glance at this ash tree. But it is ugly. <laughs> you could tell something's not right. You'll see that the leaves are curling up and somewhat even turning brown. Clumps of balled up, puckered leaves mar the otherwise healthy tree. See it? And the culprit? Look for the yellow, lime greenish. Thousands of tiny light green pests called ash leaf curl aphids. They use a needle-like probe to suck nutrients out of the leaves. That's what makes the leaves twist and curl. In most cases, they will not kill a mature, healthy tree. Now, if the tree is already stressed, then it might be a problem. The bugs might bug you, too. They leave behind a substance called honeydew. It's very sticky. It can get on cars, and if you have, like, a tree that's by your lawn furniture and your deck, it's, it's very sticky, and you have to use something that'll take that off. If you want to knock some of those aphids off your tree, you could use a hose with a high-powered nozzle and just spray the undersides of those leaves. Another way is to, is to treat it in the fall. And that's by using an insecticide where you do a ground drench with an insecticide and then the tree takes it up systemically. Whether you fight the aphids or do nothing, it's important to clean up infested leaves that have fallen off the tree because the aphids lay eggs. This will help you get rid of the problem for next year. Aphids are always around. In Maple Grove, Renee Bonneau, 12 News.